Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions and in today's video I want to show you guys a cool trick to deleting layers that you can't seem to get rid of through the layer manager uh, and are just being stubborn when trying to delete. Uh, and if you guys like this tip or any of the tips in my videos, uh, don't forget to check out my new AutoCAD productivity webinar. I'll put the link in the description below uh, as well as up above right now. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. And let's get started. All right, so getting started here, I'm gonna keep this quick. Uh, it will be a true two minute Tuesday, I'm hoping. Uh, so I'm gonna put the timer up on the screen right now. Uh, typically when you wanna delete a layer, you can do so going into your layer properties manager and simply clicking on the red X here to delete a layer. You can also use Alt D when you've selected the layer. Uh, but there are a lot of times, including when you have objects or text on a layer, uh, when a layer is used within a block or an XREF within your drawing, uh, as well as a few other times where you simply cannot delete the layer. And sometimes that can be useful because you don't want to accidentally delete the objects on the layer. But a lot of times you want to get rid of these to clean up a drawing, objects or blocks you're not using. Uh, and it can be frustrating when you can't purge or delete them. So I want to get rid of this text to layer in our case. Uh, I'm going to click the delete button, but it's saying that one of these following things is preventing it, whether it's a layer zero or def point layer, which it's not, it's not the current layer. And I'm guessing it contains an object somewhere in the drawing, uh, but I know that I didn't use it. So I'm going to show you right now the trick to delete those. So down on the command line, you can type in L-A-Y-D-E-L -E for lay del or layer delete. From here, you can type in the name of the layer you want to force delete or simply click the name button down here or type N and hit enter. This is going to give you a window showing all of the layers within your drawing. And from there, you can simply select the layer you want to force delete or multiple layers by holding control and clicking more than one. I'm just going to choose our layer uh, text two for now, and I'm going to click OK. It's going to confirm that I want to delete this, including any of the objects or blocks referencing this layer. Uh, those are all going to be deleted as well. So be careful when you use this command. Uh, it can force delete things you don't want to, but it can also help you clean up a drawing of unwanted junk. So I'm going to hit OK, and you can see now in our layer manager that the text to layer is gone. Again, I'm going to show you one more time. So lay del and then choose N. And this time I'm going to delete the text layer, which includes all of this white text here. I'm also going to delete the, um, the cabinetry layer as well. So I'm going to hold control, click cabinetry and text and hit OK. And then you're going to, it's going to say or uh, confirm that we want to delete these. We're going to hit delete and you can see all of those objects have now deleted. Uh, so it can be a super quick way to delete uh, layers and clean up your drawing. But again, be careful because you don't want to accidentally delete objects you didn't mean to. That's all for today's video. If you guys liked it, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, uh, it really helps out the videos. And if you're interested, check out my AutoCAD productivity webinar, where I've compiled an hour worth of tips like these, uh, time-saving techniques and workflows, as well as some cool uh, tips and tricks, shortcuts within AutoCAD. I think you guys are going to really like it. Uh, it's on sale now for subscribers uh, at the link below. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here to make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers.